Welcome back to Newsmax Prime. One time pitching great and analyst for ESPN, Kurt Schilling, has been suspended by that network for sending out a tweet Tuesday saying, and I quote, it said only 5 to 10 percent of Muslims are extremists. In 1940, only 7 percent of Germans were Nazis. How'd that go? The tweet has since been taken down and Schilling, of course, suspended by ESPN. Kurt took to Twitter saying, quote, I understand and accept my suspension. 100 percent my fault. Bad choices have bad consequences. And this was a bad decision in every way on my part. Was well, it really? For more, let's welcome in via Skype from Boston, the president of Bannon Communications Research, Brad Bannon, and checking in from Newsmax Washington, Republican strategist Ford O'Connell. Brad, let me begin with you. You're up in Boston, a Red Sox fan. I used to represent Arizona. Kurt was great for the Diamondbacks. What's wrong with his tweet citing a, citing a historical uh, observation and offering an opinion? Well, first of all, I don't know if you can see the jerseys in my background, but I'm an ardent Red Sox fan, and I, I love Kurt Schilling to death because he made it possible for me to see the Red Sox win the World Series during my lifetime, which I never thought I saw. Uh, but I think Kurt Schilling should stick to baseball. Uh, I read the, I heard the tweet that you uh, read, and I think he's absolutely right. It was a bad decision. Uh, first of all, I hate statements about universal statements about any groups: Germans, Muslims, Mexicans, Irish Americans like myself. Uh, people, all people, aren't the same within a group. Second of all, I think his history is wrong. Uh, from my reading about World War II, uh, there were a lot more Germans than 7% who supported the Hitler regime. In fact, he was elected by popular vote. Uh, so I think he's a great baseball player, a great pitcher, and thank God he was... Brad, Brad, let, let's back this up. Hold on one second. Kurt Schilling has a First Amendment right to tweet that. What he doesn't have is a First Amendment right to keep his job, okay? And here's the deal. He made a historical observation. He made a historical observation that is relatively accurate. And he didn't make a generalization about Muslims. He said 5 to 10 percent of Muslims. And when you added 120,000 Revolutionary Guard, 300,000 ISIS supporters, those who think Sharia law should be implemented, Muslims who don't believe 9-11 was committed by Muslims, he's not that far off. And well, there's there's and something I else going on here, guys, if, if you just hang on a second, Brad, that I have to ask you about. Good people can disagree, but to take such strong exception and see what ESPN did, I just have to ask you about this, Ford. Is this yet another example of political correctness gone wild? Absolutely. It's another example of a PC. Look, this is a problem mushrooming under our nose, okay? And essentially, the mainstream media is so PC, they don't care. They don't want to offend anyone because they want to keep their sponsors and their advertising ratings. Uh, your take on it very quickly there, Brad Bannon. Political well, correctness? All, I think Schilling's history is inaccurate. A lot more Germans than 7% supported the Hitler regime. Uh, second, uh, I think we should let Kurt, St Kurt Schilling said it was wrong, and I think we should take him at face value. Well, okay, I appreciate what you guys have to say, but I think it's ESPN breathing down his neck to say it's wrong. Let me, let me turn to another example of someone who aspires to a job, perhaps, Vice President Joe Biden. Brad, you're our resident Democrat. Is he going to jump into this thing and run for president? If I had to bet money, I said no. Uh, I've talked to some Democrats who have talked to the, either the vice president uh, or his uh, staff. And from what I can hear, one day Joe Biden's very excited. I'm going to run for president. I'm going to do it. And then the next day he says, well, you know, I don't think it's real. I'd love to be president, uh, but I don't think it's really a good idea. Uh, Mo Udall once said, the only thing that cures Potomac fever is embalming fluid. Brad, I think, Brad, Biden Brad, wants to I think that Joe it. Biden's going to jump in, and he's the only person who can actually defeat Hillary Clinton. If he can pull off black voters, which she has 80% favorability with, she has wide support but not deep support, gets an endorsement of the president, and gets an endorsement from Elizabeth Warren, and she runs as a running mate, Hillary Clinton's in deep trouble.
Yeah, and, and you got a situation, Brad, where we understand, when, when we heard earlier this week the presidential press secretary just speak glowingly of Vice President Biden and offering muted praise for Hillary Clinton, a lot of folks are saying, hey, that looks like they're getting old Joe ready for run, uh, ready to run. But I tell you what, guys, we will keep our eyes on it. For now, we thank you, Ford O'Connell in Washington, Brad Bannon in Boston. Now, at this point, you need to be apprised of this. Don't miss Ed Berliner's interview with 2016 presidential candidate Ted Cruz tonight at 9 on the hard line. And on the subject of Senator Cruz, you can get his best-selling book, A Time for Truth, uh, free with this special offer from Newsmax. Simply go to Newsmax.com slash Ted Cruz or call 1-800-485-4350.